Hi there, my name is Ed Perry. I'm a former teacher with School District 16, now retired, but I'm on six boards and also sell real estate. I'm going to read to you a very exciting book called Acceptance is My Superpower. I can hardly wait for your reaction. To all the children of the world, this book is written for you so you can learn to love yourself and accept everyone around you. The world would be a boring place if we were all the same. Let's celebrate our differences and never again feel shame. Hi, my name is Lisa and I am seven years old. I'm really rather quiet and not very bold. My hobbies include singing. I love to sing out loud, only in my bedroom, never in a crowd. Usually I'm cheerful and always feeling glad, but yesterday Lucas made me very, very sad. He's my friend from school and we usually get along, but yesterday was different and it all went horribly wrong. Through every single playtime and through all my classes, he teased me and made me cry because I wear glasses. I want to be like others. I cried to mom that night. She held me in her arms and squeezed me very tight. I know you do, my little love, but let me try and explain. If everyone were the same in the world, it would really be plain. Height, skin, or hair color, or even glasses on our face, we all have our differences, making the world an interesting place. I would never even thought of it that way, what mom said was true. Then dad came in with fruit and showed me something too. Here I have a banana and an apple, red and ripe. I know you love your fruit, but which is your favorite type? Neither, I said to dad. I love them both the same. Even though they're different, said dad. And I understood the game. We all have our differences, mom said. It's what makes us so unique. From the way we look and think to the languages we speak. Even dad is different from us with no hair on his head. But instead of loving him less, I love him more instead. What about our Uncle Jimmy, the one with curly hair? He is also different because of his wheelchair. That's right, my dad said. He can't walk at all. But that didn't stop him winning gold in wheelchair basketball. I then started thinking about all the people I knew. The thing we have in common is we're all different too. My grandma talks through sign language with the help of her hands, but she never lets her deafness ruin any of her plans. My friend Betty, who's adopted, and all of my friends the best, she says, I'm glad my new family chose me. I feel so very blessed. To accept each other's differences, Dad said, is called diversity, and it means we must treat everyone with respect and courtesy. Diversity. Our differences are many, making the world a better place. I'm proud of my glasses that sit on my little face. With them, I know I see better and have a different view. They help me read my music, which makes me sing better too. Diversity is acceptance of all our different ways. If everyone understood that, we'd all have better days. Some people like to swim and others love to run. Some people love the winter and others enjoy the sun. Our differences are many from our clothes down to our looks, from the subjects we love at school and even our favorite books. Now I have this knowledge, it wouldn't be very fair to keep it to myself and with my friends not share. The next day when Lucas saw me, he came to me and said, I'm sorry I hurt your feelings. Can we be friends instead? I appreciated his apology so to Lucas, I did say, you really hurt my feelings when you teased me yesterday. I'm proud to wear my glasses. They are part of me. It's important that you know that they are helping me to see. I'm very, very sorry, he said. I didn't mean to make you sad. Thank you for talking to me. Your friendship makes me glad. So down we sat at playtime and I told him all my news of diversity and acceptance and the behavior 
we can choose. Just like all the petals on all these different flowers, diversity is beautiful and gives us superpowers. Please join me in Lucas. Spread the world to all you know. Acceptance is our superpower, and together we will grow.